All right, dollar store DIY number two. So these are $1.50 each. They're empty. They're cute, but I mean, why pay $1.50 for one? I mean, they're really cute. And then there's these ones down here with labels on them. But I can't justify spending that when these are a buck 25 and they're a bunch of labels and I can just go ahead and buy like mason jars and like paint them or color them. Something more, oh, there's more. See, this is way more value. So we're gonna see if we can DIY something or other to be spooky Halloween-y and not pay a fortune for them. So right here, noticing these LED lights, if you can read that, it's a, well obviously you can, it says with flickering flame effect. So I think these will be really cool in a mason jar. Okay, so here at Goodwill now, and I'm going to try and find some glass jars for our little DIY. This one, oh. Mustard. We'll wash it. Okay, so the clip that you guys just saw was filmed at the beginning, maybe even the end of September, and it is now the very end of October, and I am like, I hate myself so much for not posting any Halloween content this, this, this October. Halloween is my favorite time. Ginger, not in the mood today, please. Halloween is my favorite time of the year. And now that I have a YouTube channel, channels, I have been the most excited to make Halloween content. Ginger, not today. Anyways, I have just been so over consumed with work, but I've had this box of DIY supplies that I've been collecting for this, this project. And I, I want to put it out before Halloween is over. So you guys saw that I found at the dollar store some like, jars and some glass bottles that had really cool labels on them but then i also found these labels <laughs> and what i'm really excited about are these spider bites because if you guys are a patron of mine i only have five patrons that receive the halloween boxes the highest tier um received halloween gift bags this year and i put these little bats in them but i saved the bats to be able to do this DIY. So, you guys, I can't decide uh, what it is, if it's a some sort of like wine decanter or if it's like a salt and pepper shaker, but I think that these would look really cool in there. Um, even though they're bats, is there, I thought they were spider, I thought they were spiders this whole time, they're bats. <sighs> Whatever, we're still gonna do the spiders. So, I think, there's like labels on here. This says handmade. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it with my little bat. Oh right, this still has to go on. And then I'm just going, actually, do I want to put the poison sticker? No, I think it's too, oh, that one's perfect. I'm going to put this on there. So I stuck these stickers in my Halloween bags that my patrons received so that you guys can follow along with me on this DIY. But here is the little poison jar. I think it's so cute. And you can like, it looks like a poison jar with all the bats in it. And I like it a lot. Maybe we'll fill another jar with some bats. But for the rest of the jars, I got a couple of tea lights. I already opened this one. Um, more tea lights. And I got some replacement batteries just in case I would need more. Uh, so now I got these jars from Goodwill. One is a little taller than the other, as you can see, but I really like these wooden tops and I thought they would make for cool jars. Ginger, please, you're really disturbing my time here. Thank you. 
Anyways, also have this jar and this little one here, but I already went ahead and like filled my shelves with a couple of other jars and lights because I really like that aesthetic I am going to keep it up all year round. So next, I think I'm going to go ahead and fill this one with the rest of the bath. I even went ahead and did this. <laughs> I got this one and I just put my change in it, but I put the cat label on it. It's just got all my spare change. I just wanted to show you before I forgot that. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the witch's brew sticker on that, but I can't decide if I want this one here or this one here. Maybe... I'll go with this kind of like weird shaped one. So the rest I'm going to fill with lights. So we'll start with this little one here. Did I mention that this is a low budget DIY by a low budget gal? Like, hello. Anyways, no one's going to see the top, whatever. Oh. Mustard. We'll wash it. So I got these tea lights in the Halloween section, but you can get them all year round. You honestly can. If you look in like the candle section at my work right now, we have like giant tea lights that have remote controls that change the LED lights, different colors. And I think I'm going to pick them up because they would look really cool in the spooky corner. So anyways, with these tea lights, you just pull the little tab to like let the battery work and they... You can't really see, well maybe you can, you can see it flicker like an actual candle. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the dark, um, but it looks like an actual candle. So it flickers in the dark, but this, oh it's like rounded kind of, whatever. Um, it won't like catch fire or anything because they're LED. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bigger ones inside these. Uh, I will put stickers on these ones. So since there's some like st sticker residue, I'm going to go ahead and put the big, this one says black cat arsenic and I think that's so cool. Uh, so I'm going to put that one over woo, the sticker residue right up at the top so that when I put the light on the bottom, it's like uninterrupted by a label. Eventually when I'm like don't want this spooky aesthetic anymore but like when will I not want a spooky aesthetic I can just take the labels off take the lights out reuse them for something give them back to Goodwill you know like they were only a dollar for these jars so I mean like realistically buying all this stuff is more expensive than just buying the crap at Dollarama but I have a bunch of really cool spooky stuff that I can display in my room and you guys know that I've like revamped actually you guys haven't seen my room yet and how I've revamped it to be an entire spooky room so uh, I mean like it, this fits in all year round okay for this last one I put a couple of leftover you probably can't see very well but like bats and pumpkins in there and for this one I'm going to go ahead and put another poison sticker this one says poison number nine and like with this too, like with all of the uh, extra supplies that I bought, like I'm able to, you know, I was able to share them with my patrons. I'm able to share them with people who want to do this DIY around me because I have a couple of friends who would love to do this DIY. 
And not only that, but I've been able to make these awesome, like, customized ones instead of just having, like, an opaque jar that I can't see anything through. Now I have a little poison jar, and, like, they just look so cool. So I'm going to go ahead and display everything, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Anyways, once again, this was a super low-budget DIY from a super low-budget gal. If you guys end up recreating this DIY and you enjoyed it, tag me on Instagram or let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram, follow me anywhere. <laughs> All of my links are down in the description down below as well as the link to my second channel where I am my main channel. This is my second channel. Oh my goodness, I'm so used to saying follow my second channel. Anyways. The, my main channel where I'm doing October, well, I have been doing uh, October for the month of October, and it's been really fun. It's almost over, and I hope that you enjoyed it if you were there. <laughs> I don't know how to end these freaking videos. Anyways, um, DVD haul number 10 is giving me a lot of issues. I already have enough DVDs to do like three more hauls, but like, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I really wanted to do an SFX look, but maybe we'll do it anyways. Um, also, also, I'm going to be telling a spooky story on my main channel. I'm really excited for that. So, anyways, that's all from me, and I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Say hi, suckers.